I was able to see that she had enormous qualities and capabilities. And as a result of that, you're compelled to really look at her in a closer fashion. She was the first woman that I thought could be the DA. Risa has climbed to the ranks. She's done the whole gamut of jobs in that office, and she's done them brilliantly. Certainly, she is the, is the person that we need in that job. This is too important of a law enforcement position for on-the-job training. I mean, you want somebody who has been there, has been in the trenches, has seen how we develop policy, has seen how we make decisions. To step into the spot of the district attorney is a very natural progression. I'm not going to need to be trained. I know how to do the job. When you're called out at 2 o'clock in the morning and you have to make a split-second decision about whether you need a search warrant, about what should be in that search warrant, about who gets arrested, you need to know that a professional, a trained professional, is making those kind of decisions. When you walk into that voting booth, you have a choice. Do you want someone experienced or not experienced? Risa Furman has that experience far and above her opponent. It shouldn't be about tunnel vision that you go in the voting booth and just vote uh, Democrat or Republican because that's your political party. It's about who's going to protect the county the best. I'm the only Democrat on the block that's got a Republican sign on his lawn because Democrat or Republican, she's the person to vote for. She has all the right qualities. Leadership. It's her integrity. It's about being tough when you need to. It's dedication. There's only one choice. Risa Vetri Furman. It's Risa Vetri-Furman for our district attorney.